You're not hearing a lot about this, but the country Disney won't criticize, Communist China, is subjecting their citizens to apocalyptic scenes. Now, this video is truly shocking. We've not independently verified it. But it was allegedly recorded in Jinan City in Shandong Province on April 1st. It shows citizens on their knees waiting for Chinese stormtroopers to scan their vaccine passports. And in Shanghai, the city of 26 million, is under a complete lockdown because of mostly asymptomatic COVID cases, the Omicron variant. Everyone is required to be tested. And if you test positive, you're taken away to a quarantine camp, but that's not foolproof. After getting an abnormal test result, one woman spent 16 hours on a bus to one of these facilities, and during the trip, she had no food or water. My only wish is to leave this place alive, she told the Wall Street Journal reporter. Things aren't much better for the lucky ones who test negative. The economist Don Wineland is saying uh, in a Shanghai hotel, and he said he ran out of water. He tweeted, they advised me to buy online, but these delivery services have stopped. And lawyer Jared Nelson says he wakes up at 6 a.m. to try to order food and water deliveries. When he finally got one to go through, he received six potatoes, one onion, one clove of garlic, and four tomatoes. It was the most food his family had in six days. Joining me now is Arkansas Senator Tom Cotton. Senator, your reaction to this? Well, I, I feel terrible for all the Chinese people who are yet again being oppressed by their own government. Remember, though, Laura, this government did something very similar in the early days of the coronavirus two years ago. They were locking people in apartment buildings, welding the door shut from the outside. The Chinese government uh, has no one to blame but themselves for unleashing this plague on the world. Um, that's why they continue these absurd COVID zero policies. You, you know, though, it kind of reminds me of the way the Democrats try to use coronavirus for their own political purposes here in America, Laura. You know, for two years, they shut down our schools and our businesses. If we let them stay in power this fall, they'll keep doing it after the election is over. But, you know, you look in the Senate, they want $10 billion of more spending for coronavirus. It's an emergency. They want kids in Head Start programs to wear masks. It's an emergency. Mm -hmm. They want you and your toddler on an airplane to wear a mask. It's an emergency. Yet they want illegal aliens to cross their border. Oh, it's not an emergency anymore. The Democrats have been using this coronavirus for their own political purposes for many, yeah. many months now. Senator Disney, of course, was trashing Florida and the Florida law about not telling kids about sexual identity from five to eight years of age. They're outraged about that. But Disney Shanghai, of course, make, Disney makes a lot of money from uh, Disney Shanghai. And you don't hear Disney criticizing China, but we hear tonight, just a, a few moments ago, News.com in Australia is reporting that China has been ar harvesting organs of prisoners. New research published by the Australian National University's Matthew Robertson suggesting that some of the prisoners were likely still alive when the organ removal surgery began. He's a renowned and respected source. Senator, where, where are the woke corporations making all the money in China speaking out on harvesting organs from prisoners who are alive who then end up dying, essentially executing them by organ harvesting? Yeah, Laura, it's grotesque. Uh, these reports are consistent with reports that have come out of China for years that they engage in organ harvesting against prisoners, in many cases political prisoners who don't toe the party line. But of course, corporations like Disney and the NBA are more concerned about their bottom line. They are taking a genuine principled stand. Uh, so if they think it will help them appeal to a bunch of liberals, especially the liberals that work for them, they're more than happy to insult our voters and Republican elected officials for representing our voters' views. But it's worse than them just being silent, Laura, on China. Remember a couple years back, they actually thanked the government of Xinjiang province in China, where they're systematically trying to exterminate a religious and ethnic minority, putting millions of them in concentration camps. So Disney is actually worse than silent on China. Mm -hmm. Disney has gone out of its way to thank the Chinese communist officials who are perpetrating a genocide. Oh, God. Uh, that or Tim Cook from Apple. I don't know which is worse, but they're both really bad. Thank you, Senator, for your leadership on this. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.